Good morning, students. Welcome to day three revision. Today we are going to discuss chapter four basic geometrical ideas in that part one. See in the first question here we have define. So you must learn, read, and write all these definitions one time. Okay, practice. Point, line, ray, line segment, intersecting lines, parallel lines, simple curve. and then region polygon triangle quadrilateral you have to read and write these all definitions one time as today's revision then second question is planks let's discuss the concept the word geometry derived from the greek word geometron geo metron geo means earth metron means measurement okay a point has dash or dash a point has no dimensions otherwise we can say no length no length breadth and height okay a point has we can say no dimensions or no length breadth and height a line has dash end points how many end points will be there for a line children no end point only see no ends at all no end points a line has dash length a line has fixed length see there is no end only then how it will be fixed a line has indefinite length okay no fixed length indefinite length next a ray has dash end points see so children how many end points are there on this ray A ray has one end point, or we can say one initial point, one end point. A line segment has dash end points. See, this is a line segment. How many end points are there? Two end points are there. Next, a line segment has dash length. Line has indefinite length, means no fixed length. But line segment has fixed length. we can say fixed length or definite length definite length two lines meet at a point then the lines are called dash see suppose two lines they if they meet like this we call these two lines are intersecting lines intersecting lines and the meeting point is called point of intersection point of intersection the symbol of parallel lines suppose children if two lines are parallel suppose this is line m n line p q then we say m n parallel to p q this is called parallel symbol this is parallel symbol next a line segment m n named as line segment we know what is this line segment so what is this Uh, what are the end points m and n so we can name this line segment as line segment symbol you have to keep over the letters line segment m n then how can we name a line m n line m n can be named like this with a line symbol a ray m n ray m n can be named with a ray symbol line segment to name a line segment we have to keep a line segment over the letters to name a line we have to keep a line symbol over the letters points to name a ray we have to keep a ray symbol over the letters okay points the lines which do not intersect and have equal distance between them are called see suppose two lines are there if they never meet if they never meet and between them if you see wherever you see they are equal distance between them then we call these two lines as parallel lines next name the line in all possible ways see this is a line where we have 1 2 3 4 points on this line then in how many ways we can name it see everybody will have nicknames and all right in the same manner a line can be named by using any two letters on it so this same line can be named in many ways this name can be called as line pq line pr line ps or qp qr qs or 
R P R Q R S or S P S Q S R. Okay, let's start with P. See, this line can be named as P Q or P R or P S. Let's write line P Q or line P R or line P S. Okay, then. You start with the letter Q, then Q P Q R Q S, Q P Q R Q S. Now start with R, R P R Q R S, R P R Q R S, and then start with S, S P S Q S R. S P S Q S R. See from this, what we can understand, children? A line can be named in many ways. What are the different ways? Just you have to use any two points on the line. So to name any line, we should no need to use all the points on on the line. Just you have to use only two points. This can be named in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Twelve ways we can name this line. Okay. Fourth question: How many lines can pass through one given point, two given points? See, if you have a one point, how many lines can pass through this point? If you have two points, how many lines can pass through? Children, if you have only one point through this, we can draw infinite many lines can be drawn. So the answer is many lines can be drawn through one point. If we have two points are there, through two points only we can draw one line. See, whatever line you are drawing, that must pass through two points, no? So when we have two points, only one line can be drawn. With the one point, many lines can be drawn. With the two points, only one line can be drawn. Fifth Roman, draw a rough figure and label suitably. See here some. Questions are given. You have to understand and draw the figures for them. The first one is line segment x y. So draw a line segment. See, because symbol is given, right? Line segment symbol. So we must draw a line segment x y containing a mandan. See, to draw a figure, please everybody use scale and pencil. I have drawn a line segment x y containing a mandan. Means. Two points are there on it. Anywhere you can mark, you can mark M and N here, here, or here anywhere. Second one, X Y line and M N line meeting at P. That means two lines are meeting. Means they are intersecting lines. So you draw two lines. First line name is X Y. Second line name is M N. And the meeting point at P. Okay, line L. Hey, this is looking different, right? Something new. See, we can name a line with one single small letter. For example, see here it is given line L. So draw a line, and we can name it L. So this is called line L. Okay, containing A and B, but not C. What does it mean by containing A and B but not C? That means on this line we have A and B. On it we have a point A, point B, but not C means C. Point C is not on the line. You should not mark this point C on the line. You should mark somewhere outside the line. Okay, yeah, above the line or below the line. Now OP and OQ lines meeting at O. So draw two lines OP and OQ. OP, OQ. Why I have drawn intersecting lines? Because it's given meeting at O. No. First, let's mark the meeting point O. Okay. Then what is the first line name? O. Already O is there. Just you have to mark P. OP line over OQ. Already O is there, so you mark Q. So now you see OP and OQ meeting at O. Next, an open curve. What is open curve? Draw any curve which is opened. Okay, you can draw anything which is opened. 
a simple closed curve what is simple closed curve children simple closed curve means is closed curve a closed curve which should not intersect itself for example if you draw like this this is not a simple closed curve so simple closed curve means you have to draw a closed figure which should not intersect so you can draw like this you can draw like this okay and you can draw like this also that should not intersect and that must be closed then it is called a simple closed curve a closed curve just a closed curve so uh, is it closed no is it closed yes is it closed yes these two are closed curves next a polygon draw a polygon and shade its in interior what is a polygon polygon is a simple closed curve made up of only line segments means that must be closed that should not intersect and that should be drawn by using only line segments not the curves so you can draw a triangle and you can draw a parallelogram a square anything you can draw okay draw a polygon shade its interior what is interior children inside the figure is called interior outside the figure is called exterior okay you can shade like this or in any other with any other different stroke also you can shade name all the angles in three different ways see children we know we can name an angle in always in three different ways what are the three different ways i will explain you listen carefully see here one angle is forming okay at which vertex angle is forming at x or at y or at z at y angle is forming right so we can name this as angle y otherwise okay otherwise at which vertex it is forming at y right so write y in the middle and write the its before point and the after point so this angle can be named as angle xyz angle xyz or backwards zyx zyx here the very very important point is at which point the angle is forming that word that letter that point must be in the middle see at y it is forming so y must be in the middle see in x y z y is in the middle in z y x also y is in the middle is it clear next this one i'll explain see here actually three angles are there so you have to name each angle in three ways this angle you have to name in three ways this angle you have to name in three ways this angle also you must name in three ways first let's write this one so at which point it is forming at a right so we can call it as angle a or this angle can be named as angle bac or cab okay angle bac or angle cab see in any way at which point the angle is forming that a uh, um, vertex uh, that point must be in the middle see a at a it is forming see a is in the middle is it clear next to this angle so at which point this angle is forming at b so this can be named as angle b otherwise what are the other two ways this angle can be named as abc reverse backwards cba okay this can be named as angle abc or cba see each angle can be named always in three ways children while naming it at which point the angle is forming that point must be in the middle see the here at b it is forming so b must be in the middle next angle c so it can be named as angle c or angle abc or bca next if you see here four angles are there what are they angle b angle a angle n angle k angle b angle a angle n angle k so each angle we have to name in three ways no see angle b can be named as abk kba right angle abk or angle kba now this angle 
This angle can be named as angle A or angle BAN or NAB. Angle BAN or angle NAB. This one, N, mean this angle. This can be named as angle N or ANK or KNA, right? ANK or KNA. And then finally, the last angle here at point K. So, it can be named as angle K or BKN or NKB. BKN or NKB. Clear? Next. So, in the same manner, few more questions are included. So, complete the remaining. See, here I did not complete this one. Even though you are, anyway, you need to practice all this along with that. Extra questions are also given. So, complete all this. Name all the angles. Here, three angles are there. You have to name three angles, each one in three different ways. Here, four angles are there. Each angle you have to name in three different ways, right? Next, seventh one. Draw a triangle. What is the triangle name? G -U -M, G-U-M. And... Okay, first let us draw the triangle, then we can discuss. What is the triangle name, children? G U M. Okay, so, okay. Construction of triangle G U M over and then write all its sides, angles, vertices. So, we have to name all its sides, all its angles, all its vertices. Okay. Okay, sides. So, what are sides? See, this is side 1. What is its name? G-U. Second side, U-M. Third side, M-G. Angles. You know what are angles now? When two line segments meet, then angle will be formed. What are the angles names here? Just now we discussed a lot about angles, how to name them, right? This is angle G, this is angle U, this is angle M. So, angle G, angle U, angle M. Every time, no need to name every angle in three different ways. Okay? Angle G, angle U, angle M. Three angles mark. Vertices. What are vertices? Simply the corners, the meeting point of two line segments is called the vertex, right? So, what are the vertices? G, U, M. Three points. Point G is one vertex, point U is one vertex, point M is third vertex. Next. Mark a point X in the interior. Interior means inside the triangle. So, mark a point X inside the triangle. That means in the interior of the triangle. Mark a point Y in the exterior of the triangle means outside the triangle. Okay. Y, point Y. Point X in the interior, point Y in the exterior. Children, today we discussed so many concepts from this chapter. So, not only just watching the video, you have to practice each and every problem in your rough book, sorry, in your homework book with a uh, today's uh, date and specify the date 3 revision. In the next class also we are going to discuss the same chapter but the remaining concepts. Thank you.